All right, so um, I know everybody been, everybody's been missing the Visual Studio Code. I've been using Sublime Text a lot lately, so here you are. Visual Studio Code. Um, very clean, very nice. Here you go. Um, so I'm going to be making a video on uh, you know, how to make your bot faster and so on. Little tips to make sure your bot stays very fast, very you know, speedy. <laughs> Not a lot of latency or anything. Um, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now, instead of using this variable, which most people use, um, equals commands dot bot, and then you know people do like command prefix equals and then like exclamation mark or something so we'll just keep that for now right now if you just want a, a simple speed booster because like your body is just a little slow once in a while you could just do this auto sharded bot so basically this makes your bot um It uh it helps with connection basically. There are other reasons, but you can just read that, read about it in the documentation. I'm not gonna touch that in this video. Might do it later. Don't really know, but as don't think about it too much. Auto sharded bot. It's gonna make your bot faster. Connection, everything like that. So um just to give you a little bit of information on it it basically shards your bot very obvious um, if your bot is small it gives it like one shard automatically which is enough by the way you don't need any more than one shard if your bot is in like under 1000 servers so you can keep this for a really long time so yeah um, there's also discord.client where you can specify how much shards you want. You won't be needing to spe specify how much how much shards you want unless uh, you bought in like 100k servers or something. And you know I doubt a bot developer of 100k servers would be watching this video anyway. So yeah. Um, you can specify how much, but uh, I really just recommend just using auto sharded, auto sharded bot. You'll be fine. And yeah, so um, next up, so you wanna um, let's say your your bot has tasks like auto changing statuses, you know, and uh sending a message every few minutes or something like that that is gonna slow down your bot now for as for auto changing statuses you either want to um you either want to just completely take off the auto changing statuses make it do only one status like plain um exclamation exclamation sign help or something like that just do something simple that can uh, introduce the user to the bot and that's all you really need to be honest if you're gonna do something else you can either host the the auto changing status script um, on Heroku or something or you could just you could uh, you could do it slower so some people like to do like 10 seconds um personally I've had issues with this before and 10 seconds was not enough now if you have a good hosting provider like Galaxy Gate or DigitalOcean then this might not be a problem for you but let's say you're using Heroku or something you want to make sure you minimize how much how much of the bot's resources is being used um, and just 
cut the statuses, cut everything, like just try to keep it down. That's um that's why you need to use uh what's it called? So I need to use cooldowns. Cooldowns is also something that's very important. Um I'll actually I'll actually do a quick cooldown command. So let's import something from discord.ext.commands. Commands. Import. Uh, I'm typing too fast. Import bucket type. Okay. Now let's create a variable equals um commands dot bot. I'm gonna keep it simple. Bot command prefix equals um let's just do exclamation mark and let's do okay commands dot cooldown and commands that cooldown and um basically you need bucket type for this so what we're gonna do is per per one so per per every message rate let's okay rate equals we're gonna set the rate to so the rate is basically oh no 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 per is seconds so per let's say four seconds rate one message right and then we do another comma and we do um type equals bucket type dot user and that's basically it every four seconds a user can um state you know uh let me just fix this Every four seconds, they can send one message. You can change it to two. You can do whatever. You can do whatever you want, but um, this is the ideal cooldown for me. Four seconds rates at one, and you can error handle this. Let's say somebody somebody invokes the command a second time when four seconds isn't finished. You could just do um, this command is on cooldown or something. Just send a simple text to the chat saying that uh saying that you can't use the command so you bot won't constantly be doing commands every single second because people can easily just spam your bot and really just slow it down and you don't want that so really just implement cooldowns you you will be tanking me for this a lot. Uh, yeah, cooldowns, um, keep the tasks down, make the bot do it, um, as less work as possible, and this is pretty, this is pretty obvious, um, just use a good hosting provider, I recommend Galaxy Gate, they have a really good relationship with Discord, and they, they're just overall good, a lot of big bots use it, so. It's a good hosting provider. And that's all I really have to say. Hopefully, I'm really sorry for stuttering and everything. But hopefully this video helps you out. Um, make sure to join uh, make sure to make sure to join um this bots.gg. It's a new upcoming It's a new upcoming Discord bot uh Discord bot list basically. And I'm modding it, so let's let's just give it a quick visit, right? This is we have we're on nine minutes. Let's let's get one more minute in. And uh, yeah, I'm modding this server. I'm a trainee. I really wanted to get into you know reviewing botless applications, so you know apply to apply to get your bot in this server. It's called this thisbots.gg. 
Who knows? I might, I might accept, I might, I might accept your bot. <laughs> Who knows, bro? Um, but yeah, I review bots and moderate this server. Really cool server. Very, very nice, cool people. You can talk to me here. Uh, it's just, it's just cool, you know. Great owners. Yeah. As you can see, we have some bromance going on here. Um, what else, bro? What else? That's it, to be honest. The set, the set looks fire. The set looks fire. Here's the trailer for it. You can watch it if you want. <laughs> Just join the server. I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you want to join the server. But yeah. It's cool.